And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, gusty winds return tonight, lasting into tomorrow, but wind chills by early Friday mor morning may drop as low as zero once again, and then we got accumulating snow by late in the weekend. Sun out there now, but here come the high and the mid-level clouds in from the northwest. There goes our storm we had last night departing. Uh, this is a pretty strong cold front and storm system coming in, though it's not going to have as much moisture. So more wind than any sort of rain or snow. And then over the weekend, there'll be a little clipper that drops southward, brings snow south of our area. And that storm in California could bring accumulating snow into the viewing area come Sunday. After the strong winds last night, I plotted all the wind gusts on the map here. Notice some of these gusts, 50, 56 miles an hour. I've got this graphic on the blog right now. Thankfully, the winds won't be as strong tonight and tomorrow, but you'll still notice some gusts up around 40 miles an hour. And later tomorrow evening, we may see the winds crank up once again with a few gusts of 45. So more howling wind is expected, and then the winds gradually diminish on Friday. Wind chills, though, running in the 20s and 30s to 40 tomorrow as we warm up from the low to mid 40s. But notice by early Friday morning, they drop back to single digits to right around zero. Here's precision cast clouds increasing and thickening tonight. Some patches of drizzle and a few showers tomorrow afternoon and evening as the cold front comes through. And then a few scattered snow flurries and snow showers as the colder air comes in. But there will be little or no accumulation. There goes the clipper south of our area Saturday. No snowfall here, but that storm will bring snowfall on Sunday. Could see several inches of snow. The latest data suggests that we may get three, perhaps four, maybe five inches in some places. We'll be fine tuning that forecast and then another round of snow middle part of next week. So that said, this evening clouds increasing and thickening 27 at 7 o'clock, but then rising temperatures will be up to 31 by 11 with winds increasing from the southwest. And for Valentine's Day tomorrow, a high of 45 early afternoon with a little scattered rain and drizzle, a lot of wind, and that may end as a few flurries and snow showers by evening. And finally, Friday, after a cold start at 19, a cold end of the day, a high of 25, partly cloudy. Valentine's Day, 45, then falling late, 25 on Friday, or accumulating snow on Sunday, and then accumulating snow later on Tuesday and into Wednesday. Highs in the 20s, lows in the teens. Another weekend, another snowfall. You bet. Okay, Chad, yeah. thank you yep. very much. So major